hi guys you're welcome back to my channel in today's video tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how you can transfer money using the zenith bank mobile app you're going to learn how to do money transfer using the zenith bank mobile app so guys you don't have to go to the bank in order to transfer money you can do it from the comfort of your home so guys i'm going to be showing you guys how you can do that just make sure you follow me to the end of this video to get it all and also if this video is helpful to you please consider liking subscribing and leaving a comment as that will help grow this channel so guys let's get started so guys now the first step you have to take is to tap on your zenith bank mobile app to open it it. so let me tap on it now to launch it right away so guys now you can see my zenith bank mobile app is opening so guys once your zenith bank mobile app opens up what you have to do right away now is to log in and for you to log in you have to tap on where it is written login so guys let me tap on it right away so guys now for you to log in you have to log in using your login details and that includes your account number and your password as you can see there my account number is already there so let me go ahead now to impute my password so let me impute my password right away so guys now i can see i've imputed my password so the next step to take now is to tap on sign in so let me tap on sign in right away so guys now i can see it's signing me in let's just wait for a few seconds so guys now i can see i've been signed into the Zenet bank mobile app this is the overview page this is what it looks like this is where you're going to find the summary of your bank account so guys now the next step you have to take now in order to transfer money is to tap on the transfer icon there you can see where it is written transfer down there the arrow is pointing at it so guys let me tap on it right away so guys now this is where you're going to be able to do your transfer you can see there we have different types of transfer mode you can see what is written there select transfer mode so guys now in case you want to transfer to other bank that is not zenith bank what you have to do now is to tap on where it is written other banks you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so guys if you want to transfer money from zenith bank to zenith bank if the person that you want to transfer the money to is using zenith bank what you have to do now is to tap on the second option where it is written zenith bank but in case you want to transfer to another Zenith bank that you own, what you have to do is to tap on the first option. But guys, I want to transfer to another bank that is not Zenith bank. So let me tap on the last option, which is other banks. You can see that the arrow is pointing out. I want to transfer to UBA bank. The person I want to transfer this money to is using a United Bank of Africa, which is UBA. So let me tap on other banks right away. So guys, now the next step you have to take now is to select the account that is actually sourcing this fund. So guys, now for you to do that, you have to tap on where it is written, select account. So let me tap on this right away. So guys, what you have to do now is to select your account. You can see my account down there. So let me tap on it. So guys, now you can see I've selected my account. This is the bank account that the money will be collected from and sent to the person I want to send it to. So guys, now the next step you have to take now is to select bank. You can see where it is written, select bank. So you have to select the bank that the person you actually want to send this money to is using. So which bank is the person using? That's what you need to select right there. So guys, now for you to do that, you have to tap on select bank. So let me tap on select bank. So guys now you can see you can see the different banks that we have here you can see they are actually numerous so what you have to do now is to look for the bank of the person so guys now you can actually search for the bank in case you're finding it hard to actually look for the bank you can tap on where it is written search to search for it so let me tap on search and let me type in the name of the bank uba so guys now you can see the uba bank right there you can see the arrow is pointing at it so let me select it right away wow guys can now see the name of the bank of the person has been selected you can see it uba plc so guys now the next step you have to take now is to impute the account number of the person that you want to send the money to you can see where it is written enter destination account you have to enter the account that is actually receiving this money so guys now let me tap on account number to impute the account you can see where the arrow is pointing at so let me tap on it so guys let me impute the account number right away so guys before i go ahead now to impute the account number let me tell you guys something immediately impute the account number this app is going to verify if the account number matches with the name of the person that owns the account so guys let me impute the account number to show you guys what i mean let me impute it right away 2092 let me scroll upwards 2092 98 48 44 so guys now you can see it's verifying the beneficiary you can see the name of the account holder so guys this is how you can actually confirm that the account number you actually imputed is correct if the account number tallies with the name of the account holder then you're good to go so guys now the next step you have to take now is to impute the amount they actually want to send you can see where it is written amount the arrow is pointing at it what they have to do now is to impute the amount so guys let me impute it right away let me just type in something so guys now you can see i've imputed the amount and it's 1000 so guys now the next step you have to take now is to impute your transaction description you can impute anything let's say for instance the money you're actually sending is to pay your rent you can actually put rent there for your description for the transaction description so you can impute anything there so let me just impute uh, let me just impute this right here let me just impute rent like i said let me impute rent so guys now you can see i've imputed rent as my transaction description so guys now the next step you have to take now is to tap on continue you can see down there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it right away but guys if i tap on continue let me change my amount to 500 let me change it from 1000 to 500 so let me tap on amount 
okay let me edit it to 500 so guys now you can see i've changed the amount to 500 so let me tap on continue so guys now you can see here is the next step you can see what is written there confirm transaction so guys now for you to confirm your transaction you have to impute your transaction pin your four digit pin that you normally use to authenticate transaction on your bank account so guys let me impute it right away Wow guys, you cannot see our transaction is successful. So guys, you can see what is written there. Success. Your transfer to Unozo Jukomeka Emmanuel was successful. So guys, you can actually view the receipt and you can actually save payment. Let me tap on view receipt. Wow guys, you cannot see this is a transfer receipt. This is a transaction receipt. You can actually save this and also share this to the person that you actually send this money to to actually confirm it. So guys, now I've been able now to show you guys how you can actually use this net bank to transfer money. I've come to the end of this video and I believe you got value from it. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe and leave a comment as that will help grow this channel. So guys, see you in our next upload. Bye-bye. Peace.